Stomping on the brakes forces the car's nose to dip. Flooring the gas makes it lift. It's that iconic scene from Wanted, using a lowered front end as a ramp to launch into a mid-air side flip, then taking out the target through the sunroof. But could anyone actually pull this off in real life? To find out, Grant got his hands on two cars identical to the ones in the film. After a series of tests, they discovered that at 30 miles per hour, slamming the brakes on the white sports car dropped its nose by just three inches, while punching the accelerator in the black car lifted its nose by about four feet. With that much movement, the white car wasn't going to be a ramp. It was just going to cause a head-on collision. So how could they make it work? They came up with a plan. Have a tow truck pull both cars toward each other using a pulley system, drop the ramp car's suspension by three inches, and strip weight from the black Mustang so its nose could lift at least five inches under acceleration. When they ran the official test, both cars charged toward each other exactly as planned and smashed together. Figuring the movie cars were probably heavily modified, they bought two more identical models. They lowered the ramp car's front end as far as it could go and set up the Mustang for maximum lift. Same result, a brutal crash. Four wrecked cars later, the myth was completely busted, but they weren't done experimenting. For one final attempt, they bolted an actual ramp onto the hood of the ramp car. That finally sent the other car into the air, but still nowhere near enough for a 360-degree side flip. 